Hello and welcome back to goldstocktrades.com. Today we have a new and special guest with us, Just Dismet. Just is CEO of Canam Coal. Canam Coal can be traded as COE on the Venture Exchange, and it also can be traded as COECF on the OTCQX. Thanks, Just, for being here with us today. Thanks for having uh, me, Jeb, and uh, certainly thanks for your interest, and I'm looking forward to, to the interview. Just let's first talk about the coal markets. We've seen somewhat of depressed activity in the coal markets, but there's some uh, signs that the coal markets may be turning. For sure. Yeah, no. Um, you know, we, we continue and remain very optimistic about the market, and there's a couple of reasons for that, uh, Jeb. First of all, the importance of the coal in, you know, in the world, so to speak, and I'll maybe give you a few stats around that. You know, there's about 800 billion tons of coal in the world, and the U.S. has got about 200 billion tons of that. The U.S. produces about 1 billion tons of coal per year. But more importantly, I guess, from an electricity generation perspective, about 37% of the electricity is produced from coal. Now, that is down uh, from about 42% in 2011, and the main reason for that is obviously gas has gained some market share, and mainly because of the uh, lower prices of gas. Overall, you know, obviously this this industry and this this resource uh, continues to be a very important factor in generating electricity and fueling uh, the future of of our generations. From a global market perspective, as you pointed out, yes, the markets have been depressed. Your prices have been down, but certainly, if you look at the most recent forecast from uh, the International Energy Administration. You know, the, the, the future looks great. Uh, you know, they are predicting that uh, coal amount will grow by about 1.3 billion tons through 2016. That's about 17% growth over the next uh, five years. Obviously, the majority of that demand will be coming from China and India. Obviously, the main reason for that is they are trying to grow their economy at, at a ferocious pace, and obviously that requires electricity. The important part of that is also that in order to actually meet that demand, the seaborne markets are going to expand exponentially. And we believe that the seaborne markets are going to expand by about 16% over the next couple of years. And the U.S. is actually playing an increasing, increasingly important role in that seaborne market. Their exports have uh, increased from about 40 million tons about five years ago to about 120 million tons in 2012. So obviously, a very promising uh, coal market going forward. From a U.S. perspective, however, the situation is a little bit more challenging. As we all know, uh, environmental regulations and low ga gas prices have uh, certainly kept prices depressed and the industry dis depressed. And obviously, gas prices uh, recently have you know, moved up, and, and any move up is obviously good for the, for the coal market. Uh, most of the power plants have, have, have done as much switching as they can do with the current prices. We don't think there's going to be any more switching going forward. As to environmental regulations, obviously they aim at reducing pollutants. Uh, certainly uh, we need to work with the EPA and, and, and the green movement to obviously address uh, pollutants. Uh, and obviously that will put pressure on um, coal fire regeneration and retirement of, of, of uh, plants going forward. That having said, and our conclusion out of all of this is, you know, coal will continue to play a significant role in the world. Uh, this forecast into 2015 is strong and is very encouraging. The seaborne markets will continue to play a good role, a significant role, and Higher quality calls will be important going forward, and I'll touch upon each of those things as I talk about the Canam story and how, how we have positioned ourselves in that context. Yes, Just, let's talk a little bit about the new environmental regulations from the EPA that are aimed at lowering the overall pollution. Uh, this is going to impact the market in 2015, 2016. Let's talk a little bit about the Canam coal. And sure. what's, what's unique about this Can-Am coal? Yeah. 
for sure. So, you know, there's many rules out there right now, whether it's the MAC rule or the cross-state air pollution rule, the ozone rule. A lot of those rules are actually are being appealed, but obviously we anticipate that some of them will be implemented uh, down the road. The most important one would be the MAC rule and the cross-state rule, and they're all, all aiming at reducing uh, pollution as it relates to sulfur, mercury, arsenic, and nitrogen. The main important one, the MAC rule, will come into force in 2015 and 2016. Now, what we have been trying to do over the last couple of years is actually acquiring reserves and coals that actually have characteristics of low sulfur, low mercury, and low, and low arsenic. So we believe that our coals are extremely well positioned to going forward to play into the market in 2015 and 2016 because they all have low, coal, low sulfur and low mercury and low arsenic. And we actually sample our coal on an ongoing basis, and uh, Alabama Power, one of our major com- uh, customers, actually confirmed that our coals will be meeting the EPA requirements in 2015 and 2016. And obviously, we're extremely excited about that. Just let's talk about the recent news release, the, the Can-Am 2013 outlook, uh, especially quarter two, uh, it seems like a very momentous time. Can you talk to us a little bit more about that? For sure. You know, we are really a, a young uh, story or young coal producer. We really only started uh, active production in 2010. At that stage, we had about 50,000 tons of production. In 2012, we had about 450,000 uh, tons of production, so exponential growth. As you mentioned, we've recently come out with our guidance for 2013, and we're looking at doing anywhere between 700,000 to 900,000 tons of production. So, you know, we, we are on a path to, again, almost double our production uh, as compared to 2012. Uh, you know, we are uh, extremely excited about this story. And, and, and most importantly, uh, I guess our customers and our contracts that we've been able to conclude uh, over the last couple of years, out of that production, you know, about 750,000 tons has been sold into long-term contracts that go into 2014 and 2015. So basically, we have significant earnings visibility and certainty uh, for this year and next year. And which obviously uh, bodes well for us in you know the current uh, difficult uh, coal markets. Also, from a pricing perspective, you know we've been able to hold our prices in 2013 consistent with our 2012 pricing. So extremely positive uh, from a, from a, a 2013 and 2014 perspective uh, for Canon Coal. Just as we conclude, can you tell us? the key advantages of Can-Am coal? Sure. You know, we, we are, uh, Jeff, we are still considered obviously a junior mining company, but if you compare our company to any of the other companies that are out there, you know, we have production, we have revenue, we have positive EBITDA, and we've got positive cash flow. Uh, you know, so that, those are key, key differentiating factors uh, for a junior mining company uh, of, our, of our stature. More importantly, I guess we have higher quality coals, as I pointed out, uh, with the new EPA regulations uh, coming uh, down the road in 2015 and 2016. The higher quality coals will always find a market, we believe, and the higher quality coals will also demand a higher price. So from that perspective, we have the right coals, we have the right reserves, and we will be able to sell these coals now and into the future. With our contracts into 2014, 2015, we have earnings visibility, we have earnings certainty. I'm not sure that there are many companies that can um, talk about that story in, 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 in the context of the current markets today. We have surface mining operations, we are not underground mining operations, uh, therefore we are less risk, uh, lower cost operations, which obviously puts us in a position to compete head to head with the gas producers. From a location perspective, we were very particular when we chose Alabama. I talked a little bit about the seaboard markets, the growth of the seaboard markets in the, in the, in the global coal markets. With our proximity to the Gulf of Mexico, we've got direct access to the seaboard markets. We believe that that will be key going forward as the, you know, the, the local markets contract. We believe getting into the seaboard markets is going to be key going forward. 
Last but not least, uh, our operations are run by 30-year industry veterans. Uh, they have a s- extremely well uh, good track record, and, and we believe uh, we will do well uh, with this team uh, going forward and continue to grow this, this company and provide significant shareholder value for our, for our investors and shareholders. So that's in a nutshell, uh, Jeb, I believe, the key advantages of investing in a company like ourselves. Well, thanks, just for being here today and for giving us an introduction to the Can-Am Coal story. You're welcome, Jeff. Thank you very much.